North Korea, the threats made towards the United States and Japan, according to Reuters. This is breaking news, folks, as we speak. A nonprofit organization which translates uh, Arabic and Farsi uh, and Dari in Turkish media is conducting a full analysis of the speech, but several officials and organizations claimed El Baghdadi has died in the last few months, leaving many to wonder if the terror leader who escaped numerous assassination attempts has finally been killed. Russian officials, remember, in July said it was highly probable that the leader died in a Russian airstrike. Syrian observ- uh, Observatory for Human Rights and an organization that has a good record in reporting ISIS news also claimed in July al-Baghdadi had died, citing a high-ranking ISIS source. But the recordings today of the leader, who has only been seen in public once, seems to show he has cheated death once again. The Pentagon never confirmed al-Baghdadi's death, by the way, and says U.S. Army Lieutenant General Stephen Townsend. He also told the Associated Press in August that he didn't believe the rumors. Do I believe he's alive? Yes, Townsend said. There are also some indications in intelligence channels that he's alive. The uh, emergence of the leader comes more than two months after U.S.-backed Iraqi forces declared total victory over ISIS in Mosul, Iraq. Uh, Iraq has taken full control of its second largest city three years after the extremists were able to seize it in an attempt to build a so-called global caliphate. caliphate. So that's news, folks, and that's interesting. But our Army intelligence, even Stephen Townsend, he back then said that he... That, well, hey, we're not saying that. Russia said it. So we still have a madman on the loose, folks. ISIS, is, I, I've said this all along. They're, even though we're making some ground here and there, you, you know, you got Iran, you got North Korea, but Iran is the leading state sponsor of terrorism. And then you have Russia that seems to be actually in cahoots. I, I think they actually like ISIS. Why would they propagandize that? that why would they lie about that? Well, of course, it serves them. It's as if they actually want to see the destruction of America. I'm almost convinced of it increasingly. That's actually what Russia wants to do. A lot of forces, a lot of foes, folks of America, don't like us. That's just something that we have to contend with, folks. And that's why, folks, our freedom is so important, and we cannot take that for granted at any cost, ever. That's why it makes us so many of our patriots in our country so angry when we see those who kneel and try to make it into something that it's not. And, folks, that is so anti-patriotic to see that. It's not even funny. And I don't even know if they really even know what they're doing, but it is highly offensive. And I hope it changes, folks, because one thing that we don't want to be devoid of in this country is the lack of patriotism. We need that. This is the only way that we can remain free, the home of the free land of the brave. Folks, there's people that want to take us down, take us out. There's reports this last week that North Korea wants to EMP us. We've talked about this for years. To tell people to, to 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 get ready, to get prepared. We put a survival guide two together for you, and we will put that together again. We have it revised for EMP, but it will happen, folks. One day they'll have something unless we unless we actually repair our grid to withstand EMP attack. We will be like Puerto Rico. It will take everything out, and tens of millions of Americans will die. That's much more of a story, don't you think? Don't you think, folks? That's why so many people like to listen to our program, because we we bring the realities to you in a common-sense approach so you can really understand the brevity uh, and the importance of some of the most key issues of our day. And some of them are not pretty. 
Reality sometimes isn't. I understand. I really do. ForThePeopleShow.com is our website. We are still looking for some generous donations to come in. And generous when I'm speaking, any donations would be appreciated. A dollar up to $2,000 because that's our our goal. If somebody would like to take care of all of that, that would be amazing. Uh, it would be phenomenal. Maybe somebody wants to do a matching gift. 813-423-8255 if you'd like to help out. If you have the means to do it, folks. If you don't, I understand. Maybe you hurricane Irma out. Maybe you gave to Samaritan's Purse or the Red Cross and you just don't have another dollar uh, to your name. And I get it. I understand it. I really do. And that's okay. I sincerely say this. Uh, but if you have the means to do it and you feel like this is a worthwhile endeavor, and let me just put it out there, that I'm asking you to please help keep this show alive and help us pay our bills so we can just concentrate on doing a phenomenal broadcast each and every day so you can be prepared and be in being the know, folks. And that's what we want. We don't want an uneducated audience. We want you to be smart. And, folks, when you have the information, folks, you can feel empowered to make decisions that are going to affect your family in a positive way so you can be ready for anything that comes down the pike, folks. Here's a song with uh, Michael W. Smith. It's called Freedom. It's a very inspirational tune. And sometimes uh, some of our broadcasts are not, I I would say, inspirational. But they're needed conversations to have with America, especially when we're talking about North Korea and the possibility of them launching something over our atmosphere that actually would put us uh, in the Stone Age, to be quite frank with you. Chuck Harder, the founder of this broadcast, put together schematics for Congress. Each one of them mailed them out on his own expense, showing how he could protect it with engineer Norm Miller, who actually was working for the FCC up until a few years ago until he retired, and it fell on deaf ears. They're kind of re-examining it now, but they're so overwhelmed. Look at Puerto Rico with their power grid. They don't know where to begin, practically. They know it needs to be rebuilt. With what money? Can you imagine our entire power grid? We're talking about an island in the Caribbean. We're talking the entire United States of America's power grid is vulnerable to an EMP attack. And it could happen from ISIS. It could happen to from North Korea. It could happen from... Anywhere on the planet with the right technology. And folks, this, these are the new realities that we face right now. And they're not good ones, but there are ways to prepare. And one smart guy, <laughs> his name is Chuck Carter, told me that if you want to actually preserve some things in case an EMP attack happens, like computers and electronics, a metal trash can, you know, those metal trash cans, you put in whatever you want to not be disturbed by an electromagnetic pulse. And if you put them in that metal trash can, they'll be preserved. They they will not be ruined. And uh, so when you're planning for safety and you're, you're planning for eventualities, make sure that you have some electronics, cell phones, computers, etc., radios, inside one of these metal uh, trash cans. And you can do some research on it, and you'll learn what I'm saying is absolutely correct. Uh, But it will save the electronics. It will not damage them. It will preserve them. So it's just useful information that you can use, folks, that we try to provide on all different types of uh, subject matter from consumer issues that will save you money to health. Folks, headlines that are happening now and elaborating on them from a common sense approach, folks. Not trying to... uh, do it any other way but the way that uh, God has gifted me to do it and I'm asking you to please help me help America with For the People each day here ForThePeopleShow.com is our web address and that's where you can make a donation right now would you like to join me our number is 813 area code 423-8255 and you can do some of the talking if you'd like that would be nice <laughs> 813-423-TALK is the easiest way to remember it. 813-423-8255. I sure could use a friendly voice. 
of encouragement as uh, we're endeavoring to raise $2,000. It's not easy uh, to do something big. And I know if we all do something, something, uh, it won't be so difficult, no, so challenging. And $2,000 in the great scheme of things is not a huge mountain, but when you don't have it, it's, uh, it is challenging. But uh, if all of you do a little something today, this afternoon, um, we can make this a reality and certainly put a smile on my face and my family's face as we look to the future of this broadcast and for our affiliates across the country and new stations, from what I understand, will be caring for the people. I understand there's two new stations. Um, they caught word that we were going off the air, but then found out, you know, if we go ahead and uh, get everything together with our new business plan, they would carry for the people. So that would be two more additional stations to the eight or ten that we already have. So that would be adding to these numbers and to the amount of listeners that would actually be tuning into the broadcast. So that is very, very encouraging. Uh, you know, that's just, it's a numbers game, folks, when it comes down to it. The more people that listen, the more people can buy into your products and things that you have. You get new people that tune in, and we have to grow. And that's what we need to do. And so to do that, yes, more stations get out of debt. Uh, a lot of people would like to say that uh, they're only $2,000 in debt, but for the people, that's the, our debt right now is $2,000. This will allow us to crank up the new business plan, get the products on the air, pay off the bills that we have right now, so I can go ahead and just fully, 100%, unequivocally concentrate on a program, a broadcast, for two days, uh, excuse me, two hours, Monday through Friday, where we've been at, and I would like to remain doing that. And I've spoken to our network. And I told them, I said, you know what? God spoke loudly the last three, four days when I was uh, been off the air through total strangers. It's just been so bizarre um, asking things like, have you ever thought about going into broadcasting? Have you ever thought about being on the radio? Uh, things like that or joining a conversation that uh, at a coffee house or, 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 or at a store and people just being sucked in. Uh, for the conversation amazes me every single time. I just open up my mouth and I don't try to be loud and boisterous, but you know, you got a big crowd around you with, you got 50, 60 people listening to what you have to say. Uh, it's just something that happens and God's saying, wait a second, I'm not done with you. I want you on the radio. Don't give up. And I had a bunch of people call me this business guy that has the products. He was the one that said, Keith, uh, you can sell products like this other radio show does. You don't have to go off the air. You can save it. Uh, let's trim down your bills. Let's see what we can take care of. $2,000 to do that. And all I need is whoever's listening right now to give your best donation. And I promise you, as fast as it comes in, I'll let you know who it is uh, that has given the donation and how much it is. And I won't give your last name. So you'll have some anonymity there so you don't feel embarrassed. You don't want to embarrass anybody. And you might just want to get yeah, right. I won't I won't shout you out unless you want the shout out. I think there's a little note that says whatever you want to say. And through the years that I've been on the air, I always have gotten encouraging messages from people in different parts of the country that have uh, told me how much the program has helped them and benefited them and how much it's part of their daily routine. And radio really is that way. It's amazing what a powerful tool it is because you really do become a friend. And you've, because the fact, you know, I am, I come into your home, I come into your car, I come into your workplace. And it's like, who is this guy that I'm listening to? It's Keith Allen. Well, you'll be able to bring this show for the people, which is bigger than me. It's always been bigger than me. And uh, taking over uh, from Chuck Harder has been a huge, huge uh, endeavor. Trust me. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here and move on to our fourth hour. Hour number four. Uh, we'll be kicking off in just a second. We'll do a little reset here. We're raising money to uh, get for the people out of debt so we can continue broadcasting Monday through Friday.